Well, now let's get to a very cool conversation. We are lucky enough to have a former Olympian in studio, Mariah Bell. She's also a U.S. figure skating champion. She stepped away from competitive skating last year, but she is still making an impact on and off the ice. Here are some of her incredible accomplishments. Last year, she won the national title, and that was actually after not making the 2021 World Championships team. So she bounced back in a big way. At 25, she earned a spot on her first U.S. Olympic team. Well, now she is turning her focus to coaching and mentoring young skaters and empowering women and girls. Mariah Bell is with us here at studio. Hi, good morning. Thanks for coming. Thank you. It's so wonderful to have you here. So I want to start with um, what I mentioned a moment ago that you did announce last year that you were ending your competitive career. What I think is really incredible about this is this stat. You're the first U.S. woman to leave competitive skating rather than defend a national yeah. title since Sasha Cohen in 2007. So tell me about that decision. Why make it and was it a tough one? It, it actually wasn't a tough one because mm. in my career, I was really lucky. I mean, it took me a while to find the success that I was searching for, but when I did find it, I felt really fulfilled and I was so content with my career mm. and proud of myself that I was really ready to hang up my skates and leave my career where it was. Wow. I mean, the type of peace I feel that anybody can just hope for when it Absolutely, comes to decisions yes. like that, right? And I know now you're in your freshman year, right? In yes. college, you're at the University of Texas. Yes. How is it? I mean, I know you were training around the clock for so long before this, and now you kind of get to live this competition-free life. What's it like? It's been quite a transition for me. I'm usually, like, used to just doing so much in a day, and so just to be going to school has actually been really refreshing. When you retire from something you're doing for so long, it can feel like you kind of lose your purpose a little bit, mm. and I feel like school has definitely helped me transition into the next phase of my life. Yeah, I love when we're reminded how superhuman you Olympians are, because you're like, <laughs> Well, it's just school. It's not competition. <laughs> um, what's it like at school? I mean, how often are your fellow students, your friends that you're making there asking you about the Olympics? I actually don't talk about it at all. For you. I kind of like it because it's, yeah. like, it's so different for me. Like, <laughs> I remember, like, first day of school, they were like, tell us something interesting about yourself. And I was like, I'm not going to talk about skating at all. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's you. been kind of nice. But eventually yeah. they find out? Yeah, I think maybe, probably. Yeah. Well, like, maybe when you, like, leave class to be on TV. <laughs> something like that. Maybe. Um, we mentioned you mentoring young women on and off the ice. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I've, I've been able to do a lot. I'm coaching now, which is awesome. I'm also partnered with Athleta, which is this amazing company that I'm doing work with here now in New York. Mm -hmm. um, but I just love to, I mean, I feel like I had a lot of really great mentors in my career and people that I looked mm -hmm. up to. And so I want to be able to be that for other skaters and, and young, you know, females on or off the ice as mm. well. Yeah, you mentioned Athleta, so that's this athletic clothing brand. I'm sure this is a yes. fabulous Athleta outfit yes. right here. And there's this event, I know, which is the reason that we're lucky enough to have you here in New York with us, um, called the Power of She Collective. That's what you're yeah. part of. And, you, and yeah. you're partnering with this event that's happening uh, right in Central Park and Woolman Rink, which is very cool. Yeah. Tell us about what this is. Yeah, so today Athleta is launching something called Move with Athleta. It's a new um, exercise kind of series, and it's really an opportunity for women to come together Together and sweat and connect and celebrate the power of she as you mentioned and it's starting today at the High Line and then there'll be some events in Soho and then also at Woolman Rink where I'll be skating later today with figure skating in Harlem so there's lots of really cool events happening lots of opportunities to grab free product which is really awesome there you go and then just learn more about the the athletic community and hopefully connect with some um, really inspiring women people love free stuff so that yeah. was a good that was a good tease there um, what other <laughs> Other projects are you working on? Anything else exciting we'll see from you soon? So I have Stars on Ice coming up. Um, it's a, a traveling show that will be happening in um, December. And then um, that's all in Canada with one stop in the U.S. Um, it'll feature lots of other incredible Olympic figure skaters. And then I'm also leaving actually from here to go to Nashville. Scott Hamilton has um, a benefit show um, mm. for cancer that will be taking place in Nashville. So I'll be going there to perform and that's actually where I won my national title so I'll be super excited to go back there. Oh so cool and what a fun city. Where's yes. the one U.S. stop for Stars on Ice? It is I, it's in Duluth. Okay. I think that's Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a Minnesotan over there. Right? Yeah. Uh, Mariah thank you very much. It's wonderful to meet you. Thank you thank for being you. here and congratulations on this event today and your partnership with Athleta. We're so happy you stopped by. Thank you so much. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.